Different characters have come and gone in Thailand's 16 years and still ongoing political conflict. But one character remains central to the plot, Thaksin Chinawat. He's still everywhere. In Clubhouse, he's Tony Woodson. To the Red Shirts, he's the savior. Within Pur Thai Party, he's the true leader. Here are some photos from a recent Pur Thai event, The Changemaker, a reality program in which Pur Thai searches for the next generation of leaders. Why? Because you can't have Tanaton Jin Rukrukit monopolizing the new generation. Four Thailand traditionalist, from the casual conservatives to the hardcore monarchist, the reason they support General Richard Nongsha and the military is simply this. They fear the return of Thaksin Chinawat, a person they see as a national threat, someone who would destroy all that is good and sacred about the Kingdom of Thailand. To the traditionalist, incompetent in everything else though he may be, they see General Bayut as the defender of the monarchy. Are there any leaders that, that you look to um, as uh, historical reference? The only man who can prevent the return of Thaksin Chinawat. That's why they see General Bayut as a good man. And they rationalize to themselves that General Bayut is also a good prime minister. For if they don't lie to themselves, the existential horror of the banal reality of the Bayut Jan Osha government may lead to mass suicide. It then begs the question, why so much fear and hatred for Thaksin Shinawat? Here we are not talking backdoor power struggles between Thaksin, the army, and the traditional establishment. We are talking about public perception. There are two reasons for this fear and hatred, and neither of them is corruption. Not because there was no corruption under the Thaksin government, but because corruption is simply an excuse to protest and to conduct military coups. It's not the real reason why Thaksin is so hated. We Thais don't mind corruption as long as it is our side doing the corruption. Just take a look at this government and its supporters. I'm going to also dismiss the 2003 war on drugs, which Human Rights Watch said led to the extrajudicial killing of 2,275 civilians without trial or due process of law. The reason is, while developed countries may consider it a crime against humanity, we Thais don't mind. In fact, most Thais supported it at the time. The two reasons why Thaksin is so feared and hated by Thailand's traditionalists are these. He's too popular, and he's too popular among the wrong group of people. First, he's too popular. Thailand's core national value is the king and the kingship. His Majesty King Rama the Knight was the heart and soul of the nation. We are a country built not on ideologies, but on the cult of personality. That's why our political narrative is always about good people versus bad people, like children's fairy tales. Whether by accident or by design, Thaksin was threatening this core value. The most controversial thing Thaksin did during his tenure as Prime Minister was to have made a funny face during a royal audience. There was also the most unacceptable phenomenon, which I will illustrate using this example. The walls of Thai homes are traditionally decorated with two types of portraits, the king's portraits and family portraits. But at the height of his popularity, the walls of many homes of Thaksin supporters also have his portrait, but not necessarily the portraits of the king. In Thailand, there can only be one father, not two. In the news and everywhere, there was Thaksin Chinawat traveling the land and meeting the people. He became the face and the voice of the people. This harkens back to the days of Field Marshal Black Prince of Kram, who replaced the cult of kinship with his own during his tenure as a military dictator from the late 1930s to the 1950s. Simply put, Thailand's traditionalists believe Thaksin was trying to replace the irreplaceable, that Thaksin was trying to become the father. Corruption accusations are nothing compared to accusations of being disloyal.
This is how the notion of overthrowing the monarchy in this 16 years and still ongoing political conflict was born in the first place and is still being used today. Second, he is too popular among the wrong group of people. The second reason is wrench in racism, xenophobia, and inequality. Many conservatives may tell you they will support the pro-democracy movement more if not for the fact that the Red Shirts are a part of the movement and that the younger generation has embraced the Red Shirts. Why so much fear and hatred of the Red Shirts? The political and social makeup of Thailand is the Bangkok Empire governing 76 provinces or colonies. The Yellow Shirt and the PDRC protests were fine because those were Bangkok faces in the street with provincial faces specifically for when there were clashes with security forces, cannon fodders, sacrificial lamps. But the racial protests, specifically in 2010, when they took over Rajapasom district, scared the middle and upper class Bangkokians as if it were the Hunnic or Germanic hordes pouring through the gate of robes. Dark skin, flat nose, and square jaw. By the tens of thousands, they came down from the north and the northeast and took over the streets of the capital. It was petrifying. The end of civilization itself. The elites were shaking in their Gucci shoes. Two traditionalist Bangkok middle and upper classes. Bringing down the red shirts was an unforgivable crime. But the story of the Bangkok empire, racism, and xenophobia is one for another video. Simply put, not only do traditionalists believe Thaksin was trying to replace the irreplaceable, but he was also trying to do so with an invasion of the Bangkok Empire by the provincials. Traditionalists saw this as an act of overthrowing all that is good and sacred, destroying a way of life, destroying civilization itself. Fear is irrational. Fear doesn't go away. Look across social media. The popularity of Thaksin Shinawat isn't going anywhere because Thaksin is still everywhere. Interviews, video calls, clubhouse talks, speaking on politics, societies, and the economy. And young people are listening because young people care less about traditional core values but are more worried about their future. And that's why the fear and hatred of Thaksin Shinawat continues. And trust me on this one, for millions of ties, when they go to the voting booth, this is enough reason to cast the ballot for Palambacharat party and General Bridget Jan Ocha. In fact, when the police fire rubber bullets at protesters, they don't see police brutality against the people. They see those bullets as preventing the return of Thaksin Shinawat. And of course, I'll do a similar video about Tanaton Jungmungkit in the future. Thank mm -hmm. you.